Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Zafriya Palace the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the CEO of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Osama bin Abdullah Al Absi, as well as committee members. His Majesty the King hailed the achievement of Bahrain, which is the first country in the region to achieve Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department 2018 Trafficking in Persons Report the TIP, affirming that the kingdom's success reflects his commitment to international standards and his participation in the international community in combating trafficking in persons and promoting human rights. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to those who made this achievement in light of the keenness to apply the principles of respect, equality and justice. He valued the role of the coordinating committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing initiatives and programs on combating trafficking in humans and working on preserving the rights and freedom of people. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the LMRA and all government and civil authorities. His Majesty the King congratulated Osama al Absi upon being honored by the U.S. Department of State as the first Gulf figure among 10 global figures who have made outstanding efforts in combating human trafficking, expressing appreciation of his efforts in implementing a number of important initiatives that protect the rights of the expatriate labor force. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty, affirming that this achievement reflects His Majesty's vision to make Bahrain a leading country in combating trafficking in human through the implementation of uh, programs and complying with international human rights standards. He also hailed the unification of efforts between the Ministry and the LMRA in making this international achievement. In light of the Education Ministry's preparations for the new school year 2018-2019, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, inspected a number of schools to ensure their functionality for the new school year. During his tour to the Malki Elementary Intermediate Girls School, the Minister was briefed on the ongoing preparations to initiate the elementary stage in the school following the implementation of the intermediate stage in the second term of the previous school year. The Minister hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Educational March and for providing all the required uh, potentialities to construct schools according to the world standards. He expressed thanks for the efforts of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning for constructing the new schools, academic buildings and facilities in all schools. In response to the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop urgent solutions in order to ease traffic flow across the kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, announced today that the Ministry has completed the project of developing a new left turn at the intersection between the Dry Dock Road and Hatim al Ta'i Road in Hid Muharraq Governorate. The expansion is expected to increase the capacity of the Junction to 1,500 vehicles during rush hour, reducing waiting time by 35%. The Minister of Housing, Bassem Al Hamar, said that the Ministry started the construction of 424 new housing units in East Hid, which represents the fifth stage of the housing project initiated by the Ministry. He added that the Ministry has completed the procedures for awarding tenders for the construction of 271 housing units in the new city, which represents the sixth stage of projects being implemented, which is expected to start construction next month. Al Hamar affirmed that the Ministry's keen or the Ministry's keenness to speed up the implementation of these projects. He also expressed his keenness to provide all services and infrastructure in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa during his recent visit to the city. He also said that the city is witnessing intensive preparation for the completion of the first phase of the Bushahi neighborhood, which includes 885 housing units. The minister said that the ministry is planning to construct 25,000 housing units including included in the government's work program stemming from the royal order to build 40,000 housing units.
the Shura Council has considered and approved 109 law decrees and bills of law during the fourth session of the fourth legislative term. The Council and its standing committees considered 105 bills of law, including 24 bills of law referred to or referred to it from previous legislative sessions. More in this report. The fourth convening period of the fourth legislative term conducted outcomes and resolutions from a total of 37 sessions, which included two exceptional sessions, 40 proposed laws, 13 proposals, 20 treaties and agreements, four decree laws. As for the proposals, six of them were submitted to the government, four of which were not submitted, and three were withdrawn by their sponsors. The main approved proposals were the provisions concerning the Bahrain Future Generations Fund, amendment of a number of provisions of the Penal Code, the establishment of Bahrain Scouts and Guides Association, provisions in connection to property rentals and IT crimes. The government was provided with four decrees for its consideration regarding official medals and decorations, authentication and anti-money laundering and finance of terrorism, as well as laws of telecommunications. As for treaties, the Council appraised 20 treaties and approved 18 others, one of which is still under review and one pending decision.